Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, AZ Triumster. So, uh, as most of you know that are subscribed to the channel, uh, I recently started uh, recording um, some of the ride uh, videos, doing you know riding the uh, Slim and the um, the Yamaha Cafe Racer, and uh, you know I have a Sony Action Cam, and um, I didn't really talk about the helmet I was using because it was a uh, kind of a a freebie when I bought a motorcycle, so it was just something to get me rolling um, and uh, kind of test it all out, see how it all worked. Uh, so since it was what I would consider fairly successful with doing the, uh, the recording, the footage, I wanted to step up the helmet uh, for a couple reasons. Um, one, if it's something I'm going to do um, continuously, I want to be comfortable um, and I want a helmet that is versatile, that I can use around town and on longer rides so I can share that. Uh, those experiences with you guys. And um, I want something that will function well with the camera. Um, there was a lot of wind noise that was being picked up by the microphone. So on one hand, it could use a better microphone, but on the other hand, um, something that cuts down on some of that wind circulation through the chin bar would um, also be a good idea. So um, I jumped online, started looking at helmets. Um, initially, my thoughts were in the uh, Icon helmet range that or scorpion things like that and uh, I reached out to some of the people that I'm subscribed to that uh, do their own uh, moto vlogging and there was some other helmets that uh, were uh, popular and so I started looking around and ultimately I settled on LS2 um, now I did that for a couple reasons um, I got a killer deal on this helmet probably because it was close out but in any regard I'll share with you guys uh, the link to the um, to the company that sold it to me uh, in the description. Um, but also I was looking for some kind of a unique design and again, versatility. So I bought, I got the LS2 breaker. So let me uh, show you guys what we're, what we're looking at here and kind of what I've already learned about it um, since it arrived within the last hour. All right. So there it is, the LS2 breaker. Um, so it is uh, DOT and ECE 2205 rated, um, which my experience with uh, ECE rated helmets uh, has been really good. Um, back when I used to do a lot of track riding, I had gosh, three different shark helmets which were ECE rated and I absolutely loved them. Um, also the shield here, is uh, scratch resistant, UV resistant, and fog resistant. So it's all kinds of resistant. So that should be really helpful, uh, especially in the cooler months. Um, now, every helmet I've had that has said, you know, fog resistant, still fogs, but um, it does look like there's um, some good ventilation um, right on right inside the the chin bar so um that coupled with the, the the flip down and whatever technology they're using for fog resistant uh, i have high hopes for winter riding so kind of cool design wanted something that kind of popped i was also looking for something that had some room either here or up here um, would have been best for here to have room to mount you know one of the camera mounts but ultimately it's going to be on the side anyways. Um, so that's all good and fine and everything, but um, I wanted something that, I've never had a helmet with a flip down visor. And so this one, you know, comes with a clear regular visor, but then over here on the side, it's got the actuating um, lever, if you will, or a slide for this flip down visor. And what interested me was how far this dropped down and the reviews on how solid it was that it really kind of locked in place. So that was uh, that was definitely a cool thing. Um, so what I can tell you, um, the liner, it, you know, it appears to be a very high-end uh, quality liner with probably some some uh, moisture protection. It also has this chin uh, chin skirt, which is going to help cut down on that airflow, uh, that that buffeting from the uh, the wind coming up under the chin. So that's going to help a lot too. Um, I'm not probably going to use this uh, vent too much simply because the microphone will be right behind it, um, but it does appear to be a pretty meaty um, vent to get some air in there. The other one being, of course, on the top of the helmet 
here and then um, exiting here. So uh, a couple notable things that uh, may not rub folks the right way. Um, the, the latch is what would appear to be some sort of kind of like ratcheting strap style. I don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, spring loaded and has like this, uh, this strap that kind of zips in there. If you ever had like old roller blades, I think that that's kind of like the best example I can give. Um, my, I guess my opinion on that is, um, it, you know, you think of like the, the double D rings that are traditionally used on helmets. Um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I don't know why they were so uh, pressed to use something different. I haven't used it yet, so I, I'm not necessarily saying that's a complaint, but I do know that when you have uh, hinged and um, spring-loaded pieces, they do tend to wear out. So that's just kind of my thought there. Um, the shape of the helmet, uh, from what I read, is an oval uh, shape. Uh, probably not something you can absolutely make out, maybe a little bit, but um, it fits me well, but it's not necessarily going to fit everyone. Um, and then lastly, I would say the weight. The weight of this helmet, um, granted I've been rocking three quarter helmets, but I do have a full couple full face, including the one that was the freebie. This actually feels a little bit heavier than even the freebie helmet. So, and I'm making that comparison because I wouldn't expect a helmet that is free, which is probably a very inexpensive helmet if it were sold to me. I wouldn't expect that to be lighter than something as nice as this, but it is. So, um, Weight definitely is something to be mindful of in a helmet that you intend to wear for a long time or intend to use on the freeway with a lot of uh, wind movements. You know, you're not only fighting that, but you're also supporting the weight of a helmet. Um, other than that, um, you know, I'm excited to use it. I'm excited to mount the camera and run the microphone and, uh, and get going with this thing. I really think that this chin skirt is gonna help with the wind noise and, uh, and you know, aside from that, it looks badass. This is a really cool looking helmet. I haven't had a full face helmet since, gosh, it's been probably seven, maybe eight years since I've had an actual like sporty full face helmet. I have a Bell Bullet, um, but that one's really kind of a, to me, a collector because it's like the Evil Knievel replica. So I just kind of keep that one on the shelf and I don't use it very often, but anyways, LS2 Breaker, check the description for the link to uh, the merchant, the uh, company that was selling the helmet for super cheap, just so you know, before shipping, it was like 75 bucks. So this thing was an absolute steal. Um, subscribe to the channel, guys, that way you can see the, uh, the next uh, you know, ride video with using this helmet. Of course, I'll uh, brush up on that and give some more feedback uh, while I'm doing that. Uh, go ahead and like the video, and as always, stay safe, guys.